Tijuana and the Pacific Coast. Uh, this week we're going to do Camp Lejeune, don't drink the water, and um, <laughs> and uh, the Atlantic Ocean. So uh, we're bi coastal. Uh, I'm telling people this week I'm bi. I'm, I'm bi. So um, bi, bi coastal. Um, this time we're loading up in a Tinker, same as last week. So it's one pick, two drops. Uh, we've got a drop in. Uh, Robbins, Robbins Air Force Base in Georgia. It's southeast of Atlanta, probably 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, and then off to Camp Lejeune in Jacksonville, North or North Carolina. But uh, good times, good times. Um, at least this time around, I, I've got gate procedure down, got it covered, got all the, got all the documents I need. Um, I know where the building is. Uh, I won't have to leave, I won't have to go get tarps. I won't have to go buy straps. Uh, all of that stuff is on board, ready to go. Putting it to use a little, a little faster than I thought we would. Uh, did the unboxing video the other day, and I thought it would be a while till I used it. And, um, uh, running for the same broker I ran last time. Uh, uh, hopefully, uh, he'll put my name and number in his back pocket when he gets something coming out of Tinker. Just call me direct. If I'm available, I'll take it. They seem pretty good working on Ray. Uh, they're, they're good folks uh, from what I've seen so far. So we'll uh, we'll get on the road. We'll get into Oklahoma City or Midwest City, technically. Uh, get this uh, get this load put on and tarped, and we'll get on the road and head east, eastbound and down. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to use that on a short uh, at some point, eastbound and down. When I put together a little short or something, so a little play on words, but truth to it. So uh, yeah, we'll get we'll get in the city, we'll get this loaded, and we'll back into it.
right, so the, the military tour 2024 continues. Um, we've extended we've extended the run. We've added some dates on the tour. Um, this time we load up our pump city. Uh, first one goes to Robbins Air Force Base, uh, which is just southeast of uh, Atlanta. Uh, and then we're going to run up to uh, Camp Lejeune up in North Carolina, Jacksonville. I think it's Jacksonville. Camp Lejeune. Um, stopped and got the, the truck filled up a little while ago. Uh, didn't shoot any footage of fueling this time. Done that before. I'll do it again. I lost all that footage, but I'll replace it at some point, I'm sure. Um, stopped and got the truck washed. Uh, it was bad. Um, going through all that rain and snow and ice and all the yucky, yucky, yuck uh, on the West Coast portion of this tour. Um, uh, it was bad. It was bad. They salt a lot heavier than we do in Oklahoma. Uh, so the salt on the truck was pretty bad. I wanted to get it off. Um, was just going to wash the truck by hand at the house uh, while I was there on my, my 34 hour. Tired. Tired, lazy, didn't want to do it. Uh, spent a week and a half in your truck driving, sleeping in the back seat. Granted, I had the, <laughs> I had the layover for the paperwork to come in, but. Um, uh, in your truck for a week and a half and it, it, it wears on you after a while you get tired uh, it's not like a, not like a semi when you get parked for the night you can actually stand up and you can sit up straight on a bed or lay down and sit up uh, this you're either you're either in the front seat or you're laying down in the back there's no in between um, so. when I got home I just didn't feel like washing the truck I really didn't uh, and to wash it at the the big truck truck wash large car truck wash um, just for the truck it's only 30 bucks uh, I'd spend 15 or 20 doing it myself at the car wash uh, doing it at home seems to take forever uh, if I go to the, the regular car wash and do it it never fails I miss the spot and I end up washing it by hand at the house anyways uh, this way it's done done well and done fast uh, we were seven or eight minutes in and out and gone I'm okay with it. Um, it. It's it's worth it's worth the, the price of admission. Uh, not a bad deal. I'll, I'll take it. So, back to good. Uh, hopefully we don't raise any eyebrows eyebrows on DOT guys looking at me. Um, since the truck's nice and clean. I got still have my CSA, CVSA stickers on there, so um, should be smooth sailing all the way through. Uh, the scale house in. Arkansas. Not that they're tough, but they're pretty tough. Um, I'll get through, no problem. Clean truck and stickers. I should just get a green light and go, go, go. Uh, I think we'll make it down to Tupelo, Mississippi tonight. That's the plan anyways. Uh, that's, that's what works out time-wise. Um, cutting it close. I've only got about seven minutes to spare. <laughs> kind of close, like always. But uh, yeah, new week, new run. We're uh, we're on the road. We're moving. We're grooving. mentioned I I hate tarpon I hate tarpon um, subscriber count went up um, because of this whole hacking thing it might have had something to do with it who knows uh, subscriber count is up to 24 now so we're growing uh, all of my view times are up uh, my counts are up everything's up 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 so we're growing 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 um, kind of excited about it. You know, the, the thing is, I wish I knew who my subscribers were. The only time I ever get a notification that I have a new subscriber is only if they have their own YouTube channel. Uh, other than that, I don't, I don't know who my subscribers are. Um, I, I, I'd kind of like to know, but I don't expect people to 
<laughs> put their their name or email address or phone number in the comments of a video. Uh, it's not expected, required, nor requested. Uh, uh, but I, at this point, I know who uh, four are, uh, and that's just because they have YouTube channels, and I got a notification. The last one was I'll I'll, I'll say the name because it's kind of generic but Ray C thanks Ray C thanks for your subscription uh, you were the last notification I got and it's been it's been a couple days back but um, just now getting back to circling back to subscriber count but uh, things are looking up things are picking up things are growing moving um, we are we are on the move we are eastbound and down military tour 2024 continues Check in with you guys in a little while. Right, guys home for the night holly springs mississippi didn't make it all the way to tupelo uh traffic going into memphis was absolutely horrible and in the usual tradition all of our time clocks are aligned and i had five minutes left cutting it close holly springs mississippi home for the night see you guys tomorrow morning from mississippi um got a long day ahead of me uh, gotta make gotta make this first drop before they close receiving closes at 3 p.m. on uh, military bases uh, my arrival time is 151 Eastern time uh, something I really didn't think about was losing the hour when I cross into the Eastern time zone so I'm cutting it close today if I don't get this off today it doesn't rule out a backload our backhaul, um, but it it's definitely going to limit it because if I can't get this off today, I have to sit overnight till tomorrow morning, uh, and then all day Friday I'll be driving to uh, North Carolina. Uh, it's about eight and a half hours, roughly. So even if I get up at 3 a.m., I still won't be able to get the load off on Friday because receiving closes at 12 on Fridays, um, which is ridiculous. It's it's military, it's one of those things, but it is what it is, so it's it's imperative that I get this off today. Um, so I've, I've got to get to North Carolina before noon tomorrow. Um, and that's tough, that's tight, tight schedule. Um, if I don't get that, one in North Carolina delivered before noon tomorrow. I have to sit until Monday morning, um, which means a 34 hour reset somewhere. I just, I don't want to do that. I want to get this off early, uh, use my available drive time today to get to North Carolina. That way I can deliver tomorrow morning fairly early for sure. Uh, but everything hinges on getting this off today. Um, it's, a, it's a 13 hour drive from Oklahoma City to to Robbins, so can't do it in one trip or do it night. I mean, it just traffic takes away time. Uh, ah, the joys the the joys of life on the road. Yay, yay me! Woohoo! Uh, yeah, so we're working towards a goal of getting this off today before three. Um, it's supposed to take a delivery appointment. You're supposed to call 24 hours in advance. Of course, when you call the number to set the appointment, it just rings and rings and rings. Then it goes to a voice mailbox. Uh, and then it pro proceeds to tell you that the mailbox is full and can't accept any more messages. So um, hopefully when I get there, they'll they'll take it without a delivery. They'll, they'll take it anyways, but they, they'll put me in at the first available delivery time. Is what the paperwork says. So, well, we'll see what that actually means. Um, in the real world, that means uh, we don't care. But uh, it, it's the military again. So, um, 
who knows? We're working towards our goal. We're gonna we're gonna get there. We're gonna get it off today. Uh, that way we can drive to North Carolina tonight. All right, I'll let you guys know. So I uh, I just stopped to get fuel. It's a little independent truck stop north of Birmingham, Alabama. Um, weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. Walk inside the store, and it looks like it's half strip club, half karaoke bar, half convenience store, and half truck stop. That's that's too many halves. That's never mind. That's what it was. It was a weird cumulative thing of many different things. I don't know if they're trying to make ends meet or what, but I, I didn't know if I should pull out dollar bills and tip the cashier or or sign up for the damn karaoke list. I wasn't exactly sure. Um, fuel desk was, you'd think it'd be close to the door where you come in by the fuel islands. No, it's on the other side of the damn store. Weirdest thing ever. It's, a, it's an Alabama thing, I guess. coming into Atlanta from the west side finally got through it made through downtown Atlanta proper now there's traffic on the east side southeast side of, of Atlanta so um, there's no way I'll make the uh, the time I need to make to get my first load dropped off there's just there's no way so plan B what I'm gonna do is park up a little short for the night it's only gonna be like two o'clock in the afternoon, three o'clock in the afternoon, but I can't make I can't make receiving before three. Not get through the gate and everything. So I'll park up for the night, uh, get up uh, early, 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 be at the gate early, 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 and that throws off my second delivery as well because now they close at noon on Friday. So um, won't be able to make that either. So what I'll do is I'll deliver this first thing in the morning. I'll find me a good backhaul and I'll go and get my backhaul picked up, booked, loaded, ready to go. Uh, and then I'll drive up to my second stop up in uh, North Carolina. And I'll drop that Monday morning then I'll work on backhaul coming back. So, um, yeah, things are, things change on the road. Traffic jams mess everything up. Stupid drivers mess everything up. but. Uh, it is what it is, so that's the new plan. Uh, park up for the night, deliver this in the morning, find a back haul, get it picked up tomorrow, uh, and then drive up to North Carolina and do my second drop off Monday morning early, early, and then head wherever my back haul takes me. So, fun, fun, uh, good times.